база. А, нет, это спрет. Hi everybody, this is Tupac Coin Roll Hunter. William and me are here doing an uh, error video. And um, yeah, we're just gonna start out. I've got some uh, Kennedy half dollars. I've come across errors going through them and I thought maybe I'd show you a few you could be looking out for as you're hunting half dollars. Um, this first one I wanna show, it looks like it was struck through grease because you can barely see the beginning of the date. Let me get it over here. We got a 19. I have to use two hands here. You can see the one and the nine, but you can't see anything else. And in God we trust. You can see uh, we and part of trust. You can't see in God. It's all gone. That was pretty cool. Oops. Camera malfunction. And this is somebody decided to turn it into jewelry. Let's show it on the other camera first. See if you can pick it up. Right there, the top of Kennedy's head, that round right there. So I think they put it in the reject coins and the Federal Reserve decided they were going to fix it. It is soldered. I see a lot with holes in it. I've, this is the only one I've ever seen that's actually soldered. They actually fixed it. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. <laughs> you can pop that back out of there and turn it back into a necklace. I can't believe how many of these I find that actually have holes in them. Those are uh, pretty funny. Um, the next thing I'm going to show are FGs. These are my 72s. And it looks like they were st struck through grease. Because you can almost make it out. It's really hard to see on this one. You see a tiny little fraction of that G. On a normal one, that one's even kind of light. But that's what the FG should look like. Let me see that one that was struck before. how that one looks. You barely see it there. Let's see. So the other one I've got. And these are two nineteen seven or er, seventy twos. You can almost make out a G there. Really, really light. But those are my best two examples of the no FG in the seventy two. Now, the 83s, I've got a few of them, and from what I heard is um, they don't recognize it as a true no FG. They're calling it a, a strike through grease, but I mean, they're really cool to find. There's another one. And these are all on the 83s. And my best examples of these errors are on the 82s, which they do recognize. But these are really good and really clean. There are no signs of an FG ever being on there. That one. And I got one more that's really good. 72. 
no FG. All right, so those are the no FGs and a couple of uh, interesting coins I've found. I've also got the die cracks and uh, double dies. So I'm gonna show you on the 71s, I find die cracks on the Y, and you can see it right there on the Y. On the Y and the T. This one does not have the double. Let me try another one of these. And you can see it right there on the Y. nothing on the T on that one and this one I believe does not have anything on the Y but the T right there has the die crack going through it those are really cool and those are on the, my 71 or 72's that one's actually a 72 the other two were actually 71's Let's see the date again 71 Got that die crack right there. Of course, I got them on top of each other, so you can't see it as well. Die crack right there. Now, the ones I really find really interesting um, are the double dies. This here is a 73, and you can see it mainly in the U and the S and the T. It's a beautiful double die right there. Got this one is a 1974 and that R right there is extra thick and that's how you can usually tell if, if it's going to be a double die is when that R is extra thick you barely make out that line but on the 74s that line the little leg that comes off the R is really thin so you know if you find a really thick one it's definitely the double die Let's see if you can, uh, and you can also see it right there on the right side of the T that thickness right there that is the double die what do we have here? This is a 71. And you can see the doubling through the U and the S. That's another good one right there. And you can see it on the right side of the Y. And not on the T. But you can definitely see it on the right side of the Y right there. That's really cool. And I have a 74, a couple of 74s. And I'm hoping one of these will be able to see that R with the line through it really good. It's not going to be this one. But you can see it in the U, and that R leg is really thick. That's how you know it. And you know why? No. The T, yes. The T on the right side right there is really thick. That lets you know that there's a double there. And these are actually worth some money. They're, they're hard to find. There's not too many of them. But like right here, you can see it in the S. And I wish I could get one that has that line through the R. Let's see the Y and the T is extra thick on that right hand side. So it'll either be the T or the Y. If it's extra thick on the right hand side, that usually is a telltale sign that you got the double dot. Now this one I think is really heavy machine doubling. I mean it is crazy if you look at the Wii you can see it there on the Wii and then you can see it on the ribbon the ribbon is totally doubled and the Wii I want to see if I can get that light a little better on there Wii. 
Ui, oops. Ah, hit the lights. Turn the room. Yeah, you can see it. It's. I don't believe it's a true double. I think it's a machine doubling. But I mean, it, look at that ribbon. I mean, it's like right next to each other. That's never seen it that bad before. Um, see, those are those. I also wanted to show a magic coin. Haha, <laughs> nice. Now this, of course, is not an error coin. This is a coin that um, I found while searching. The coolest coin. <laughs> but on the back, this is not going to focus very good. And the scope is up too far. But these things are actually hollow inside. And when you drop them, you can totally tell that it's not like it doesn't sound like a real coin. It sounds just like that, <laughs> where a regular coin sounds like a regular coin. And uh, these things are so fun to find. And I actually have another one here that I carry with me all the time. And this thing is really awesome. It's a two-headed 1964 and like I said you can totally hear the way they sound I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of these together and put this in between and just listen to the difference it just it doesn't sound right that's how that like little tin hollow cans. Yep, sounds like a hollow can, and this is actually a silver one, 1964 on both sides. But it is hollow, and I haven't seen any of the double-headed ones open up, but uh, the ones that <clears throat> have the centavos or the penny on the inside, they always open up. Uh, one of my friends called me actually yesterday and said that his friend had a bent half dollar and he was hitting it with a hammer and it opened up and he's like, uh, did we just find something that's worth a million dollars? I was like, no, it's just a magic coin. But it's really cool to find. Definitely. And uh, yeah, he said it won't go back together <laughs> because they messed it up with the hammer. <laughs> But, I mean, it was, um, <laughs> it's really cool when you find these. I've got one video where I was doing a search, and I actually found a two-headed coin in the search. It was the first time I ever found one, and it was uh, really cool. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for coming by, checking out the videos. Um, we're live streaming every Wednesday and Sunday, and... Uh, you guys have got us blowing up. We're getting close to doing a 500 subscriber giveaway, which is going to be huge. Just totally huge. And uh, uh, about finished with the sticker. We should be able to get that going really quick. And, um, yeah, everything is going great. Uh, we will see you soon. Thank you for joining us. Find treasure whenever, wherever you can. Peace out. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great day. And uh, remember to hit the like button, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming by. Peace out. Peace.